Hey, what's up, you guys? So I'm with Robert. Um, he placed fourth place in our tournament today. Uh, what deck is this? It's uh, uh Hero Stone. All right, Heroes. Uh, deck that a lot of people like to call it dead. So we're gonna see why it maybe isn't. Let's go right into the goodness. All right. Uh, simple engine. Uh, run the one Stratos, the triple alias, the one Bubble Man. I do not like Bubble Beat. Uh, a lot of y'all are gonna tell me, oh, I'm stupid. I honestly, I don't care. So, the double Thunder King, and then my control factor in the deck, Penguin Soldier. This card has won me several games, to be honest. Uh, play against a Card Curry player once, I had it set. They go into the Card Curry loop. They use uh, Beret to flip over this monster, and uh, it uh, flips. I put all the stuff back pretty much. Uh, that's it for monsters. Not a high monster count like normal. Uh, spells. Double duality. Double e-call. Triple miracle. One super volley. Um, a lot of people don't really play super volley, but I find it as a good control card, and it it play it makes them play scared pretty much. Uh, double MST. Triple gym spark. I usually side out one in between matches, it just doesn't seem to work. And then the staples, you know, you gotta have them. Um, going on to traps. It's all morning, it's all judgment. It's thanks to the ban list, I'm stuck with one warning. Double torrent, double compulse, double prisons, double bottom, double mirror force, double mind crush. This format is nothing but search. So, I figured Mind Crush would be a great card. Uh, just today, I was playing against a Dino Rabbit player, and I just wrecked him because he opens with he opens with Rabbit and Guiba. He uh, he plays Pot, grabs uh, grabs uh, Starlight Road. I flip over Mind Crush, called uh, Starlight Road. Got a good look at his hand, and I got rid of that Rabbit. Uh, Dark Bribe and Starlight Road for protection. Uh, extra deck, double shining, one absolute zero, one is Gyarado. I don't know why I play him. I just have him just because. Uh, one Gaia, one Nova Master, one Shock Master. We'll get to you later. One Abyss Dweller, one Blade Armor, one Excalibur, one Cowboy, one Maestro, one Black Ship. Now, Star Leech. Paladamino, or whatever, how the hell you say his name. I haven't got to play him yet, but this card actually has been testing really well. Uh, it's real easy to do, especially in this deck. All you do is need is two light, two light monsters, and then Stardust Dragon. Now, my side is a little weird. Uh, triple Banisher, double Doom Cow, double King Tiger, one Kinetic. That's the monsters. So it seems like a sort of anti meta stun inside. Uh, was that kind of what you were going for? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I pretty much side in the stun, uh, depending on the matchup. Like water, obviously the banishers and king tigers. Uh, one MST, double soul taker, double soul drain, and double skill drain. Alright, so uh, you got fourth place today. What were your matchups and how did you sort of, I guess, deal with like a lot? Uh, there was abundance of water today. Well, I only played one water player, so, and I was holding him off with the Banisher and the King Tiger. Uh, not only that, the Soul Drain's really helped. What are, your, uh, what are your thoughts on the water matchup for heroes? It's supposed to be really difficult, and you know, kind of part of the reason why people don't think that it's. Uh, honestly, in the hands of the right player, it is difficult. But if you mess up one play with water, you'll mess up the game. Uh. So if you if you can patiently wait it out, and granted that sounds like a stupid mistake, but if you patiently wait it out and wait for your moment to strike, and you take that strike, chances are your increases chance to win goes up really high. All right, well thanks, appreciate the deck uh, Remember guys, subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks again. Yep.